Hey Floss Tubers. I hope you all just greeted the new year um, with some celebration and a good time. It's actually a little past New Year's, but it'll probably be a couple of days or so. Probably no later than Monday before I um, upload this. I do want to stop for a moment and just let you all know that my last video somehow the first nine minutes of it got deleted and yet the whole thing is on my phone um, I I don't know what happened something I I don't know um, I think what happened was that when I was done recording it I recorded it directly onto YouTube and um, when I stopped recording it goes to the next page where you would um, edit it and of course it automatically starts playing back and I listened to it for a little bit apparently nine minutes and um, I discovered that oh I talked loud enough my phone recorded me loud enough um, you could see everything, so I stopped it, and it looked like it was okay. And then I went ahead and I did the next page, and I titled it, and then I started uploading it. I think where I stopped it, it cut it off. Like, you know, the, the scissors, it cut it. And yet it's still all on my phone. So, because of how it started, it was just terrible, and I know I have some comments, and I really appreciate your comments. Um, you know, I'm not deleting that um, video lightly, uh, but I really want the whole thing to get in there. So, um, I will upload the new one, and then once I see that's completely uploaded and uploaded properly, you know, it's the whole thing's on there. I'm going to go ahead and I will get rid of the first one. So you have a full video. There are some magazines that I showed at the beginning and I kind of talked a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I lost my voice for a second. So uh, I just kind of want to make sure that my videos get put on right. And I'm sure it's not a big deal, but uh, I have 177 subscribers, and I really appreciate that, and I thank everyone for subscribing. Um, but most of my videos lately, I've been having like, you know, 50-some views, 70-some views, and I think it's because they're not really, some of them don't turn out very well, like the last one when it got cut off, and I just kind of want to make sure my my page you know it it does all right that um that people are enjoying watching them i mean i've even recorded something and run and realized i'm rambling like i am now <laughs> so um you know so then i do it over again i just you know i i watch enough of them that I I really enjoy the floss tubes. I really do. I enjoy all of them that I that I watch. Wonderfully hopeless, uh, the sweet array. I hope she comes back soon. I really I really hope her dad is doing all right. Uh, but I totally understand why she stepped away, and I wish her nothing but the best. Um, Miss also crafty. Uh, you know, there's just just a lot. Carolyn Mazio really miss her. I hope she comes back. Um, so I really, really enjoy them, and I just want people to enjoy my videos as much as I enjoy yours. So that's why I want to go back and just try to upload my video, the whole thing, so it looks right. So let's go ahead and get going on this. I told you in my last video that I was going to go ahead and film this on Monday, but tomorrow, actually it's technically today, um... I am, it is supposed to be the last day of my, uh, my, now if I can think what I'm saying, my rotation for my afternoon projects, but I might be out of the house for quite a while. My son and daughter-in-law needs help moving some furniture from their down, upstairs apartment down to donate, and we're really hoping we can get over there, but my husband got called in for work tomorrow. 
he usually knows um, 24 hours ahead or so. So we have a, um, a small span of time. My husband really wants to help her son, but he also has to work. So I don't know if I'm going to be gone. And then Monday I'm going to be pretty busy getting everything ready for work because I cook a lot of stuff ahead of time uh, for my lunches to go to work with me. So I wasn't sure if I was going to have time to record this. And I can't sleep anymore. I can't, I can't sleep and I might as well do something with my time. So I'm doing this at like 1 o'clock in the morning. So why don't we go ahead and get started uh, now. And that just, you know, I wanted to let you know why. Although you may be watching this on Monday. <laughs> if I'm going to upload two videos and it takes so long. So let's see. Let's start with my first rotation for the month of December. The last time I showed you any of my whips was, um, it was on a Sunday and I still had a little bit more stitching to do on this. And I did. So you did see all of this at the beginning of December because I'm just kind of randomly putting videos up. But after this one, I'm gonna go on to a um, more of a routine like every two weeks I'll film. So you have more to see. So, um, well, not more to see. You're actually going to see more now because I started a couple things. But uh, that Sunday, I just did this little bit. I didn't do a whole lot. But I thought I'd show it to you. So that was week number one. Week number two, I had a new start. It was the Black Lace Sampler I was telling you about. Um, Mackenzie from the Sweet Array. She did this, and I fell in love with it, and I had to buy it right away. And, of course, as I told you, I was going to do the Black Work Sampler that I kept calling Black Lace. But because I had bought this so long ago, I really felt like I needed to do this. And I'm glad I did, because I'm really enjoying this piece. And this is as far as I got. Now, you have to understand, it was um, two weeks into December, and I was doing a lot of Christmas shopping. So I wasn't home a whole lot. And this piece here, I just didn't want my um, string to just be in the back. I don't know. I don't know why. So I just parked it. So I will thread that back through and then resume. So that's as far as I got. And if you've never uh, stitched anything like this, it's really fun. I, it takes a lot of concentration because of so much going on. Seems like it's a little fuzzy. But it really, it is really a lot of fun. I am enjoying this piece so much. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I bought it. And I'm glad Mackenzie showed everyone. So that week number two. Week number three, I had a new start. And um, this was a small project, just a tiny one. But wouldn't you know it, I didn't finish it. So with my afternoon, there went my working page. My afternoons, when I, since I'm going to work, back to work on Tuesday, I think a fuzz just kind of went down, or maybe a cobweb. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, since I'm going back to work on Tuesday, I'm going to be able to really get back into my routine. So, you know, I've only got so much time to get my, my knitting in, my, my afternoon um, uh, rotation piece, and hazel in the evening. That it's going to be hard to put this in, but there's such a small amount left that I'm going to just do it on the weekends and finish it up because I don't want a piece just hanging around not done. I have enough of those. Oh, let me show you. It's in it's in uh, Cross Stitch and Needleworks Summer of 2015. Love me, love my dog. I put in the fabric so I could scooch the words over because I want to put dogs. Because, of course, I have more than one. Love me, love my cat. I will be stitching this. But I'm doing doing the dog. 
I got a little mark right there. It's a little piece of something. I think it'll wash out. I don't know how that happened. But that's how far I've gotten. I had to frog this. I got this pink part done. I was doing the brown. I got really burnt out on the brown because there's three different colors. And I got all of them, all the two done is the majority. I just had this little bit here of this darker one. And I thought I'm gonna do the heart. Well, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the heart. Well, when I started the heart, I, I got this part done. And then I was starting on this and my sister called. Instead of putting it down like I should have, I talked to her and I stitched. And I'm like, huh, I just fill it all in. Well, when I went back to do the dark brown and just get it done, um, yeah. See those two little pieces? Or pieces, two little stitches? I had cross stitched the red on it. So I thought, oh, it's all right. It's, it's, it should be okay. But then I started looking at it and I was just, Fran, just, just frog it. You know it doesn't look right. This is like this big chunky uh, tip. So I frogged it. And lucky, luckily for me, I had a piece of that red, uh, the DMC red, whatever color that number that is. And I thought it was big enough to go all the way around and it wasn't. So I got all the way here and just past there. So I was able to just frog that section. So it won't take long to fix that. Or, or restitch it. But I'm pretty pretty close to being done. Just a few colors. But that's really fun. He was fun to stitch or she. I like to say he because it's the same color as my Charlie. I will put that right down. So that was one, two, three. And then number four. My fourth rotation week. Um... Oh, it's sitting right here. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, of course, you know, if you've been watching my videos, is my winter scene. So, got that going. Here's the book. Again, I think I've shown it a few times, but, you know, I'm doing this one here. When I get close, it gets fuzzy. It's really weird. It's upside down. And I have my chart. So here it is. I have completed all the trees. The trees are officially done in this piece. And what I really appreciate about putting this on a rotation now is that when I was doing these trees, it just seems so daunting. All the green. There was like four different color greens when you include this one. And I finally had to stop and I started stitching other areas. But knowing I have seven days to stitch this. Um, and once I get onto my normal rotation. Uh, when Hazel is done. Then it will be a five day rotation for both my afternoon and evening stitch ditch um, but then my bigger projects will be in the in the evening so anyhow um, knowing I only have a certain amount of time and then it's put away for three weeks before I bring it back out again uh, would it be three one two three yeah um, I knew when I started this, I wanted to finish those trees. I wanted to be done with the tree. So when I pull it out in January at the end of the month, the last week of the month, um, the trees are done. And that just gives you motivation to get the sections done that are kind of daunting. It's like, I only have a certain amount of time. And I did it. This is the snowman that I had talked about before. You've got his hat. It looks like a guitar, doesn't it? You got his hat, and then his face, and then you've got his body. And I hope if I have some time, to, I'm hoping tomorrow I'll have some time 
to just finish the snowman. And I probably will. Uh, that won't take that. That's that won't take very long. That'll be a quick stitch. Then I will be done over here. Uh, one thing that I had decided to do is create a plan, not a long-term plan, but just for my next um, next uh, rotation for certain projects. So, like the Afghan, I want to get all of this done all around here maybe not so much in here but at least all this green I want to get done I don't have the chart <clears throat> and then with that piece uh, the winter scene I'm gonna do everything I can to get this uh, snowman done so that will be done I want to do sorry for the fuzziness this part up here is the roof for the covered porch, and it's actually not very big. I've already got like two lines done. So I wanna finish that, and this here is a balcony, and I'm thinking it's the master bedroom. And so I wanna do this, and I wanna get the balcony done. And then I will see when I'm done at the end of the week for that, the seven day week. Um, put it there uh, where I'm at and then I will determine the next rotation what do I want to what do I want to get done because that really helps me stay on track so those are my four afternoon whips now I admit while I've been off for two and a half weeks that it hasn't always been in the afternoon um, I keep forgetting to look at the I'm sorry, just pointed my finger at you. Uh, anyhow, um, it's one o'clock in the morning. I'm a little scatterbrained. So, I don't remember what I was saying. So that was the end of my four four rotations in the afternoon. Here is my last one, my rotation. Oh, that's what I was saying. That with my two and a half weeks off, um, I do admit I've been doing some of those in the evening. And I've been doing hazel in the evening, sometimes in the afternoon, sometimes in the morning. But typically, those are my afternoon projects. My evening project, if uh, for a reminder, is um, here's hazel. My dog is crying. He's ready to go to bed. He is done with me now. So... Here's, oh, let's, let me do the chart. There she is. Oh, I'm sorry, the park threads are so in the way. I actually started with stitching this when I uh, decided, hey, I'm going to do this real quick. My husband's working. My son is at a friend's house staying the night, partying like it's 1999. For New Year's Eve but there she is you can see her eye and her ear how exciting so the last you had seen it I if I remember right yeah yeah <laughs> I had to think about it I had two rows I did not do because as a reminder I had done two rows which was a lot of stitching and I wasn't sure she was going to work out against the sand sand is still pretty dark uh, but I jumped ahead and I did this and as I'm doing it and I'm getting further, I got to the end of the page, which is right by her eye. And then I started, um, I don't have it with me, but I started on the next page. Here it is. It's a free chart. It's mine. So it's no big deal. I, um, this here is the last five going across. Uh, to uh, from the other page to uh, complete a 10 across and you know the squares so basically the end of one page was in the middle and that was the um, other half so I completed the page and did part of the other all I had left to say I've done a page are those two columns 
So in two and a half days, I went back and I whipped that out. One day I stayed up till 3.30 in the morning, since I can't sleep anyhow. And I just whipped that out. Now, grant you, I have the bottom part, but I was amazed at how much faster it is to stitch the sand after I stitched all of this confettiness. But yeah, you can see how well it's turning out. I am really pleased. Now the picture is lighter, but she's light enough that you can really see, you can make out her ear. Her ear, I only got one so far. Um, and her eye and man, I had no idea how good this was gonna turn out. I was really nervous. So I'm so happy with it. I'm so happy it worked out. And I'm just stitching along. So I'm having lunch with my friend who's, that was her dog, in a week. And I know I won't get done with it in a week, but it's a motivation to spur on to keep going. And then at the end of um, January, there's a movie we want to see together. And so that's my next goal. I probably won't get it done. And she's already got the, um, the rug made of Ivan's face and she's going to be giving it to me. So I was really, I thought that would be so cool for her to get this on the same day, but yeah, it's, it's just so much. There's some people, it takes a whole year to stitch something like this. So I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. My dogs are going crazy because people have been setting off fireworks. Yep. And there went a firework. So the only thing I else I have to show you is my knitting. I finished my cowl that I, I did that I've been, you know, I've been working on my knitting um, with um, it's something in stitches. I wonder if my iPad's awake. It's probably not. I think it's dead. Oh, it's dead. Ah, I messed up her, her uh, or couldn't remember the name of her YouTube before. Something in Stitches. Oh, why do I not remember? I'm going to keep a chart. Swear I'm going to keep a chart. Um, so, yeah, she taught us how to do the cow. The least I could do is remember her name. And then I am looming my son a, um, I'm looming him a, a, um, oh my goodness, sorry. Now I think I'm, like, <laughs> I'm way down here. A hat. I'm looming him a hat. It's, um, man, it's one o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's a beanie. It says not Stargate. It's a beanie. It is, uh, let's see. I'm saying uh, a lot. I really messed up my phone. It's knit, knit, knit pearl. And I rem uh, remember the pearl because of the rubber band. Knit, knit, knit pearl. Knit, knit, knit pearl. It's all the way around. And this is the color of his coat. Pretty excited about it. Hope it get to get it done before spring. So I started that. And then my husband's blanket. I have this still and a little bit more of the one that's on there. So you're probably thinking, well, she's had that. I'm gonna try and fix me. I bumped the phone. Okay, it's not gonna work. You wouldn't believe the setup I have. Okay, don't touch, oh, it's gonna fall. So anyhow, <clears throat> I, I have done a lot more than it looks. When I showed you that full skein of, or not skein, but the whole thing of yarn. That is, so yeah, you just keep going. I don't want to bump my light. I'm bumping my light. Yeah. It's heavy. 
and it's warm because I lay it on my lap while I'm moon knitting it. So I've gotten that far done. That's a lot. Okay, that was heavy. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to be starting on my new rotation with the sow that I'm doing. Spring flowers. It's cold. My husband said that there was snow out there in some of the areas he was driving. And we're supposed to have snow in the early morning. Hey guys. Hey. This is fireworks. Um, Charlie. Charlie. They have sensitive ears. Um, I'm just looking for some spring. Yeah, it's going to get down to like 16 degrees. And here in Oregon, that's pretty cold because of the moisture we have in the air. So I've been really wanting to do one of these that the picture is just words. And yet it looks like a picture. It's a flower. And the center says spring. And you've got tulips and daffodil flowers. Um, April showers, May day, um, earth bloom, strawberry blossom, saw kindness, gather love, um, bumblebee, you know, just a whole bunch. And so that's going to be uh, for the sow. So that will be started on Monday. The only other thing I have to show you is kind of, it's kind of a, um, stash or sorry not a stash but a um haul kind of sorta it was the last day of the sale at michael's and my husband and i ran over there so just so i could get one of these and it's the medium size happy planner now i told myself i wasn't going to get one of these only because i'm not one of these that like to take my planner and like really bling it up and put all the stickers on it because for me it's very distracting my binder consists of my bills and my budget and whenever I watch anybody on floss tube um, do the binder or even I'm uh, I have subscribed to <clears throat> three different channels for the Dave Ramsey budget where people are doing it also just as an encouragement um, I think one lady does the happy planner and she does the stickers. I'm sorry. Charlie! He's been doing this a lot and I thought he calmed down. Charlie! Um, so, uh, oh, now he made me forget. I'm already forgetting on my own. Um, but anyway, I would see a lot of people do all of these. Um, come here, buddy do all of the stickers and for me it was just so distracting you know they get done stickering up the calendar part right here and put all these stickers on there and then they'd write because you can write on the stickers I understand that but to me my, my eyes were getting lost with all the stickers and not what was planned you don't have to put the stickers on there if you're somebody who loves that and it, it keeps you organized and you really have no problem with it, hey, I say bling it up, sticker it up, go for it. Um, I'm not. Uh, so, yeah, the only stickers I have, and I used it to prop up my phone, they're just little, I'm going to grab it real quick. I'm just going to do it. They're these little ones because on my, um, they're like little tags on my husband, or not my husband, on my, um, my basic binder that I did myself, I had little stickers. They were just plain stickers and I would put them where my husband's paydays are and my paydays are just to kind of, uh, show those days so they would stand out against all the bills I had written down. And that's why I think with all of the stickers, for me, the way I do things, um, I'm gonna start looking here. Uh, it's going to make everything just blend in together. 
just because I think I'm used to doing it this way with the stickers, little tag stickers just being um, for paydays. And, and it works for me. And then I did get some of these. I don't know if I'll actually use them. They're really cute. And I figure, uh, I know that the uh, planner has, smack myself, little tabs. So all you have to do is grab and go. So you don't need to gather it, but I'm gonna give it a try. And if not, I, you know, I have charts I print out and that I can use on them to keep all my charts together or whatever. I know I'll use it. They were cute. That's the only blingy thing I'll be doing on here, I'm sure. I'm sure. But one of the things that I love about this is that it's, there's the, um, you know, there's the birthdays and, and things. But it says goal. And there's enough room for me to do my four afternoon projects and then my last. So I can say my goal um, would be to have this much of hazel stitched. Which is as much as possible. But more for my, my four afternoon projects. So I can write those goals that I was telling you about on here. And I like that idea. And then I love the fact that I can try and open it. Uh, have these. So it can be for writing my bills, but it can also be for what projects I'm doing and when I started and when I stopped. I do have an app, but I have lost apps. I know there's the cloud, but I have lost things in the cloud. It's floating up there. And um, you can't always trust that. A lot of people do, and I've lost things. So um, I really want to put notes for my crafts. And, and um, oh, I loomed Cody's hat, and this is how many uh, wraps that I did around. So the next time I do another hat, he says, hey, Mom, can you do one to match this coat? I'll, you know, and it is perfect size, and I'll know. Or could you make it, and then just make it a little bit bigger, and then I'll know how many more to add. So I like that I can use it not just for my bills, but I can use it for my crafts, and I can also write my menus, because I have my menus all written out. Because once I start working, and then I have my rotations I want to stick with, and I want, I, you know, and I have all these things, plus I clean the house, um... I don't want to have to sit there and go, oh, what's for dinner? And then when I say that, pretty soon we're going out. So I think I'm going to enjoy it. I, you know, I don't have to do the stickers to enjoy it. I wasn't going to do it for the longest time because I had to set my mind that all these people on FlossTube was doing it. I'm fucking really weird. Uh, where they were all doing it with the stickers and everything. And, and I'm, I'm rambling. I've already said that. So... <laughs> Uh, I, I think I'm going to really enjoy it. And for $9.99, I got 60% off. Um, it's, it's worth, uh, you know, trying it out for the first time for $9.99 for an entire year planner. So, um, that's it. I still have not purchased that one cross stitch I said I was going to. I still have figured it out. I've got my one, two, three stitch wish list and everything I'm thinking about is on there. So it's in front of me and I'm going to try and figure it out, but I'm, I'm taking my time. I want to get back to work, start making a paycheck and decide from there. Um, but as soon as I know, you'll know, or as soon as I get it into the mail, um, you'll know. So I think that's it. Um, yeah, yeah, because I already told you I'll be probably on here every two weeks now, now that I've showed you everything, and get more onto a, a routine for that also. So I'm going to head out. We're at 34 minutes. I want it to be like 20, 25, and I'm rambling again. I ramble all the time. Uh, thanks again for stopping by. I really hope that um, you're enjoying my videos, and again, I want to thank you so much for subscribing and... 
um, anybody who's commented, thank you so much. And like my videos. Give me thumbs up so I know you, that you're liking them and that I'm doing okay. Uh, you're out of the 70 whatever views and I get a couple of comments. Um, and then I get some thumbs up. But out of 70 some, you know, it's only like less than 10 thumbs up sometimes. And so I don't know if I'm doing it right. You know, I don't know if if everybody's enjoying them. I enjoy floss tubes so much. And I want to make sure that uh, my video is enjoyed like I enjoy yours. So, you know, the thumbs up will tell me. I hope you all have a wonderful couple of weeks. And I will see you back here in two weeks from maybe Sunday. I think I will be doing my whip updates on a Sunday. That works out really well. So I'll talk to you later. Thanks again. Bye.